Welcome back to I don't wanna simulator. Where I don't wanna. I just wanna go back and build a pretty base and be like, look at my base. I made it myself. My name is on it. Isn't that nice? See, they've conditioned me to go really slow in these caves. Because I don't know when a horrifying leviathan's going to patrol through on his, like, one minute long patrol. And, like, I just didn't see it yet because my limited line of sight or something. Oh, fuck. I need to find escapes, I think. Places I can fit into where he probably can't get me. If he comes popping out. Ooh, a torpedo arm. Issue torpedo. That's interesting. Gonna need another one of those, though. Because, yeah, I think that guy didn't catch me because I was in a really narrow spot where he couldn't chase me very well. So that's abusable, hopefully. If I find similar spots here, which so far, I guess that's the downside to finding the more open place. Is that I can approach more carefully and not be trapped in a very small space with him. But that's some of those small spaces were how I avoid getting nommed on. I don't even know how that thing attacks you. <laughs> it's a confusing alien shaped creature. Which means that the idea of it being violent is also hard to comprehend, but that doesn't change me from running the fuck away when it goes growl growl and comes at me. Because I believe it can. I don't I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be like, what? How? Pff, I don't think I believe you. And then like let him approach me and then be like, yo, wow, look at like, look at him. Uh, he can attack like the Dickens, as it turns out. Who would have seen that coming? I can make a torpedo arm now for torpedoes. How effective it is it deterring that deterring that guy? I guess that's something worth testing. Make torpedoes, shoot him at that asshole. If it's not useful against exactly that asshole or Mr. Red Chomper, then uh, it's useless to me. I don't need new ways of killing the, all the stupid babies I just punch in the face and they run away. Will I have enough presence of mind? to punch him in the face if I can't get away. <laughs> I mean, I punched the red chomper in the face and he still bit me. He might have run away afterwards, but I think they're designed usually to run away after they hit you. To give you time, essentially. It's the game being sporting, so they, there's time before they catch you, before they come back after you again and get it. Ah! New creature discovered. Cryops. That's the guy I kept seeing. I think they try to be sporting in this game, because if they could immediately just stun lock you and hit you a second time right after, that'd be super unfair. So I think the game intentionally lets you get a, let, lets you get escape. There's actually like 50 reasons for me to not be afraid of this game. Ooh, I like that tiny little trench. The salvation trench of where I'm safe. Alright, so go there if something comes after me. Also, maybe go there just as a place to explore. But I bet he can't fit in there, he's real big. But I thought I saw stuff over here still. God, I keep hearing sounds I don't like. The only advantage of these caves really is that there, there's like a clear entrance point where I can fairly confidently say he's probably not going to approach me from behind. So I can just keep an eye on the one direction and just proceed slowly and see if he's patrolling around. Or they? Like multiple? Don't like that thought. Stop having that. Kainite. Stop having that thought about there being more than one. The map's not huge. It could literally be the same one looping for all I know, if there is one nearby. Which I thought I heard him. Interesting this area is full of batteries. Yeah, so I gotta be careful. I am 
I am in the last 200 meters before I start getting into trouble. And fuck no, I'm not going around as a person outside of this suit. You... Fuck. 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 Oh, he comes by here. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. He can't get in here, though. I was in the perfect spot. Does he leave? I don't have a torpedo arm. Did you just aggro on me again, you bastard? He's got like a chompy bottom. Fuck that. He is very, very specifically designed to be very villainous looking. Alright, pointy dick. Are you gonna stop fucking locking onto me? Forget I'm here? Okay, he eventually fucks off. I'm like, at some point, the, a the developer has to design the AI a certain way. Fuck, he's so fast. Look how fast he is. Fuck, I'm officially in he can be behind me range. I hate that. Let's get down here in the trench. He definitely can't get in here. I was tempted. <laughs> Part of me was tempted. I was like, do I get out of my prom suit and scan him while he's here? <laughs> he looks like he can't get me. Don't really want to find out what his attack range is, though. Get fucking, like, sucked into his grapple all of a sudden. Okay, well, that's that's the band-aid ripped off. We know he's here. I can stop wondering. Fuck. He approaches so quickly, and I hate that. He just does not slowly meander. The other characters kind of wander around a bit, and the new guy that's big is a little too fast, and that scares me in its own way. Chomp, red chomper guy. It's like red chomper's speed is his own problem. But this motherfucker, he is literally just full speed ahead, charging around in circles. So that's a whole new problem. Other monsters from before didn't really like full steam ahead like this. They kind of like swam in circles in one spot mostly. So you just try to avoid that like they're an MMO enemy. How big is his patrol? Wasn't there another Kyanite here? I thought I saw an extra one. This one's a little big. I'm a little afraid he could get me in here, honestly. I'd have to run all the way to the back to be sure. Ish. There's one. So is this how the entire other area is built? If I, were, if I were to descend downward or something in the other crystal area I saw, would it be a series of these like ravines to hide in? It does seem like an intended like stealth section, essentially. It feels like the game, the zone's designed around that. God. Was oh, that a ravine down here? Uh oh. Okay, well, it's not getting me down here. This one's really narrow. Narrow enough that I couldn't fit at first. So that's a good sign. Alright, I only get I only have one more refill and then I have to think about going back as it goes lower. And I will whew, I will leap at that excuse. Is he gonna aggro on me again? Fuck me! Motherfucker finds you. Jesus. You would think I'd be in a stealthy spot, but he comes for you. Like, how did he even see me there? So he he will see me no matter what. 
he clearly just he he probably he basically cheats. He might have some kind of I don't know echo whatever the fuck system. Oh fuck. Look how fucking long he is, bro. That shit's cheating, yo. Why am I scanning the torpedo arm so many times? Just hungry for new tech and not necessarily getting it. Okay, this area is really exposed down here. If I go deeper down, can I get away? Oh god. Oh fuck. Is he coming back right now? Fuck 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 I got some kyanite. It's in my other inventory, so I can't see how much. So that's neat, I guess. But fuck this place? They're gonna have to give me- ugh, That's pro- yeah, that's probably accessible via this cave network. But that's like- that seems almost endgame. I have so many other things I can go after instead of being here. What a healthy life choice to make, being somewhere else. Where is he? Okay, so I've verified both directions are heavily patrolled, and I hate it. There, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Hi, Knight. How did I? How the fuck did I miss? Oh, they're like kind of right behind rocks. Come on, pick up stuff better. See, it's a sign. The game, even the game's like retreat. Here's some kyanite in the retreat direction. I am conditioning you to run the fuck away, bro. Like, bro. Why do they put blue plants here? Making me think it's kyanite also. God. Story's not even necessarily pointing me here. I just was exploring a place because it existed. Why would I do that? This place is surrounded in every direction by a different monster I don't want to know about. <laughs> I really got lured in by the Kyanite, which I mean, now I got it. Now I can make my prawn suit get, uh... Yeah, these kind of heat sources, basically, can, uh, recharge my prawn suit, which is neat. Once I make it. Sulfur. This feels and this feels like a late game area. And I don't feel like I'm in the late game yet. I feel like they want me to explore the snow or something. Usually the bottom bottom is a big deal and this is feeling pretty bottomy and scary. But man, it was just right behind Margaret's base. Just waiting to be discovered, just a cave right there. God, they're so big in this game. How big was the ghost leviathan? I don't know. I'm honestly not sure how big the ghost leviathan was. Um, let's get our asses out of here. God, where do I want to go next? But the, uh, the ghost leviathan... Didn't feel like it was that big, but I was, uh... Your sense of scale is based on what you're in most of the time, and I was in a Cyclops. Like, that one time I scanned... What's it like up there? Hey, buddy. Is he up there? Where am I? Oh. Isn't that where I went? Biter drop?
I left in a different direction. I'm I'm over by Camp Sea Monkey, right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what this hole is. But it's it's more likely to only have uh cuttlefish, not red biter. The red chompy boy. Newt fish. Yeah, biter drops. That's where the red guy is. So watch out for that direction. God, they were... Man. Yeah, and I might want to try going in the down direction. But if I want, if I want to go there, I need better propulsion or something. I kind of can't believe... Oop. Let's get out of here. I kind of can't believe that motherfucker was just around all the time. I guess it's partly because I, I stuck to really specific paths on a regular basis, so I, I didn't encounter that guy for so long. But I think he was the guy from episode 2. So I encountered him right at the beginning. And then was oblivious to him for like the next 10 hours or 20 hours almost. Because I just carefully kept taking the same path. Using the island as a reference point. And not going just enough off the course to encounter it. God, this place looks so dark and threatening looking. But it's just full of these dumbasses. And it's like only 200 meters from my base. It's just really funny to me. This place should be threatening. But I'm just, I'm just so aware of the fact that there's no one here. Oopsie. I'm out of thruster. Not exactly the, the, uh, that dark, horrible void area where you just look into a crevice. Oh, that was weird. That's that part of the first Subnautica game where you look into a, this creepy crevice and all you see is some plants that are bioluminescent, but the whole area around you is just black. How do humans cope with the loss of memories? Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know, it just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that- I'm warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of a leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. I like the back and forth discussions where they're trying to figure out how each other exist and what it means and so on. Should have expected this would be kyanite. Because I knew it was required for stuff. So it was clearly going to come up. It, it is so crowded in here. I'll be, I'll be happy to move on. But, uh... <laughs> may have wasted my time earlier when I was showing you where the base was going to be. Because I don't, I don't think I'm going to commit to that spot. I don't think that spot aged very well about two seconds after I placed it. Padoop. Ah. That was a real bad place to be. So much stuff. 
Yeah, I kind of just nabbed one of you guys. Hey, buddy. Triops, you silly weird creature. It's funny when you place them at first and they just spin a lot. And then they eventually decide to swim around. Yeah, I already lost track of him. There he is. He's a silly little guy. Look at him go. Oh yeah, that stuff's probably fully grown by now. That stuff's probably fully grown. Slightly damaged, it looks like. I gotcha. Yeah, you still take damage from, like, bumping into walls and stuff. Look at all that. A mess of organisms. <clears throat> I have plenty of magnetite to make the upgrades for the next place, that's for sure. So that'll also be a really big uh, map. Have one more of these. Supplies? Food? Battery? Oh, I've been putting healing items with food. Gotcha. We're back. Oop. Oh. Oh. It's the Chelicerit. Have I encountered that word in an audio log before? You can scan Leviathan locations? That's a nice thing to have in your HUD. What a good reason to have the interface. Oh my god. I didn't know that scanner rooms could scan Leviathans. It's called a Chelicerate. That would have given away that it was red. I thought they were like gray. And like a bunch of separate segmented chunks. Everything else stuff we're used to? Ion cube. Uh, I'll get, get to there in a second. Tangling research. Where is it? On the island? Behind the island? In a cave on the island? Hello. What is pangling research? Okay. This is something I can focus on instead of expanding the- instead of, uh, stopping the- I was gonna, I was gonna stop the episode to work on the second base and then pick up when I was I've made some progress on that. Uh, let's do the kyanite thing too. Wait. Can't even make that, can I? Because it's kyanite and whatever the green shit is, so I can't even make that yet. I can just be like, yeah, I have kyanite. That's part of the process. Yeah, I need green and red boober nonsense. Alright. I have 20 blueprints apparently. I don't know how the fuck that happened. Oh, ion battery and ion battery cell. Ion power cell. That's ion cube. An ion cube, gold, silver, ore, lithium. Can, are they still rechargeable? Because that's great news if they're still rechargeable. Silicon rubber wiring kit. Gold, silver, lithium. Two of those. Silver. Gold. Lithium. And then, yeah, I'll get there in a second. I hope they're rechargeable. It would suck if they weren't. Right. Blah. I'm, when I was taking them, I was thinking about the cell 
tier, not the battery tier. So I need two of each. And then for the ion power cell silicon rubber wiring kit. Got one of those left. <laughs> then I'll have to go back to the kelp, which has been a while. No, wrong wires. Wiring kit. Ion power cell. I figure it's like a high capacity ion, a high capacity cell. Let's see. I don't want to use the peppers right now because I probably want to use them to make those food things for long term storage. So it lets you combine the two of those into something that's worth 30 and is smaller than the individual items. So I'm still using the nuts for the moment because I don't have enough of those planted and I need to get on that. When I have more planted, I can just mindlessly eat them. But yeah, making the, the salad is pretty good. If a bit annoyingly crafty, because you have to craft them all. But that more or less solves that problem forever for me. There's an ion. Oh, this... Does a prawn suit use two batteries? It does. Still. So I've got one regular I got one regular cell and one ion cell. Yeah, it's all glowy on this side. 1000 out of 1000, 200. Okay, so it's 5 times the capacity of a battery. So I just went from 400 to 1200. So I just tripled the capacity even if I only have one right now. This thing has 3 times the battery space, which is a lot of battery space. So that's good. That's that researched. About the pangling research, I'm a little concerned because there's like spy penglings in this game. I'm a uh, which they mentioned a few times. I'm a little worried. What if I have to make a spy pangling in order to use the pangling research? It might not. I thought it would maybe that was research to get the spy pangling, but it could also be a thing you need the pangling to research. Which maybe I already can. I thought I only found one, which usually means you don't have enough yet, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you already have enough. A booster tank. Use oxygen to give a speed boost. High capacity O2 tank plus a wiring kit. There's also a still suit. Uh, am I using an... Ultra high capacity tank. I'm higher than that. I can't even use it, because I have an even better tank, actually. Uh, maybe there's a, a, a rank 2 version or something? Hmm. A still suit. Reclaims moisture from the body and provides clean, drinkable water. Ew. Ew. What am I wearing right now? Reinforced. Enhanced survival in extreme temperatures, that's obviously better. And also better defense, I think. I don't think I need to have a, a pea suit that reclaims my pea. I think I've come I think I've 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 gotten past that point in my struggles. Okay. So copper titanium's all you need for that. Okay. I can already get a spy pangling. It only took that one research. Uh, but now I need to go visit the kelp. That is funny. It's funny that I, uh... That's just, I just, I just wasn't done. I tried to do a good job when I studied the stuff over there, and I just didn't do a good enough job. I'm sorry. I don't remember what I need to do with this stuff, I'll just do both. Nothing even chases me here, right? Not really. Because the, the thing that was threatening was mostly just the fact that they would try to, uh... Blip. Too much. A 
took out the whole thing. I am a destructive force in this environment. This whole spot. Yeah, I made it to Margaret's base. I tried really hard to research everything and get any audio logs, and not only can I not find Margaret, like part one of Margaret's story, uh, I missed the pangling research and the large room research, and maybe more. It's just hard to find everything sometimes. Okay, one of the things I grabbed makes silicone rubber. Yeah, seed cluster. Yeah, that's what I have to watch out for is lubricant and seed and silicon rubber are made of the same thing. I've fallen into that trap before. And it's frustrating. Of accidentally making the wrong thing. And there's the fiber mesh. What are two power cells? Oh. Hmm. Um. Just a regular wiring kit. Even a, a robot doesn't have an advanced wiring kit, surprisingly. Running out of silver. There's always something, I guess. Personal? Ah. Personal equipment? Booster paint, blah 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 blah. Upgrades, prawn suit. The vortex and gas torpedoes. Things to keep an eye on. But no, that's not what we're here for right now. Sustenance, no. Tools? Where is it made? The vehicle bay or something? I also need a remote made of titanium and copper wire. Still have copper wire left over from the mercury? The mineral detector. Swim charge fins. Charges your held. Oh, I thought it'd make you swim faster or something. It charges what you're holding. Oh. Sea truck depth upgrade mark two and three. How long have those been there? Prawn suit mark two. Just kyanite and nickel. Kyanite, nickel, play steel. I don't think I've even made a Mark II, but I already don't need one, because Mark III is so easy to get. Fuck, we can go so deep now. I didn't want that news. <laughs> I didn't want the news of being able to upgrade it again. How the fuck do I make you? Uh, It's not the fabricator. Yep, blep, blep. Took my mat hand off the mouse for a second. Like, is it the mobile vehicle bay? Are you a vehicle? Modules, the sleeper module, docking module. What does it do? It lets you take the prom suit with you. Oh. That's interesting. I didn't even know, I had no idea that would be an option. It didn't seem like a big enough vehicle. This one just lets you sleep. The Fabricator mod module is the most compelling one. It's the one I don't know how to get. I did not anticipate running into this problem, but how the fuck do I make the penguin? Am I missing it somehow? I'm ready to build it. Just show me how. I don't see a remote in there. These are food. Just telling me I can cook the guy I just found. Stop telling me that. Equipment. Tanks, 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 tanks. Suits. Other shit. Headlamp. The 
deployables. There you are. Jesus. I don't know how I got that off, that off course. I guess I was following the things that said they were new, and, th and that menu didn't say anything was new in it. So I didn't, so I didn't realize to check it. Benglings. Scientists may have never discovered that benglings incubate their eggs in small cave burrows, often alongside thermal lily roots. Thermal lily roots. So now we know where the pangling babies, the babus, will be. There we go. Uh, we're already we're over half an hour in. That'll be. I think that should be a future thing to deal with, I suppose. Boop. And also more research things. Uh, it's time to chip away at our backlog. Oh, it's longer somehow. <laughs> I think it was in the mid 70s before. Now somehow it's in the high 70s. How did I do that? Nuclear reactor. Renewable energy sources will, will usually be sufficient for maintaining a small outpost. For everything else, there's a nuclear power. Powered up by four replaceable uranium reactor rods. Do not attempt to replace reactor rods without adequate protection. Do not attempt to overclock the reactor. <laughs> nuclear is ideal for energy-intensive operations such as self-sufficient colonies supporting more than 20 people, industrial outposts operating multiple docks and heavy machinery, research stations housing live specimens. I don't... This seems not worth it. There's so much... There's like set it and forget it power enough in this game that having something that I have to manage like that and also probably keep... I probably have to keep farming farming uranite all the time. Seems a little much. Thermal plant. First rule of survival in hostile environments is to work with the reliable... with the resources available. If it's 800 degrees outside and you're in danger of burning to death at any moment, you may as well get some cheap reliable energy out of it. Converts high uh, heat energy into electricity. Allows always take th uh, thermometer readings before attempting installation. Core mechanisms are housed in a heat-resistant chassis, but are not impervious to extreme temperatures. The thermal power plant. It's hot. The uh, alien data. Oh yeah, we found the this thing on the way into the scary place. The fossil excavator. I think I got like an excavation research thing as a result too. We just gotta keep chipping at it. We'll see. I'll get there eventually. Gotta craft what I gotta craft them in a specific order so I just don't lose track of the notifications. Uh, based on analysis, it is speculated that this artifact is an archaeological tool for finding and excavating fossil remnants. The main body of the equipment is housed between two glide rails. The excavator emits a sonar pulse that gathers data on the ground beneath it. When it bounces back, with a possible fossilized object, it begins the excavation process. A set of lasers emit from the arms and slowly removes a micro layers of material. Once the fossil is revealed, the same carefully calibrated lasers are utilized to break loose materials while preserving the fossil underneath. Fossils can be analyzed using carbon dating and other methods to, be understa to understand what the environmental makeup might have been millions of years ago which can be compared to current data to look for trends. I'm behind on this stuff, yeah. The Spy Pangling. The Spy Pangling provides new avenues for researchers to access natural above-ground habitats. It is especially effective at maneuvering through spaces otherwise too small for humans. Oh. You're the reason I can't go through that one thing because my character won't crouch. This is silly. <laughs> penguins are highly active creatures who are protective of their young penguins. In order to better study these energetic denizens of the Arctic region, Altera scientists on 4546B had to think outside of the base. A well-known phenomenon, the V. Cacus, Prince, Cassius, Pr Cassius Principle, asserts that in order to st best study fauna, one must become the fauna. <laughs> Scientists across the stars have used this basic principle to infiltrate and observe alien creatures of all sizes and dispositions. Doctors Casis, Curtis, Tucson, and Macbeth, oh no, <laughs> pioneered these accomplishments. Inspired by this, and after months of trial and error, the first spy pangling was crafted at Phi Robotics Center. 
bringing about a new era of exploration and excavation across all operating outposts. Warning. Research to create a waterproof edition of the Spy Pangling was halted due to compliance concerns. Currently, contact with, wa uh, with water will result in complete system failure. Oh. They can't touch water. How am I going to get it there? I feel like everything in my body and, and that I touch is contacts water when I go anywhere. Features include fully customizable outer shell to replicate any small bipedal creature. Two all-terrain tracks for smooth movement over rough conditions. Remote controller for operating at distances up to 80 meters away. Atmosphere dependent. Four storage slots. Self-destruct option in case of danger or immobility. Arm with three-pronged claw for picking up samples. Fully detachable camera with 180 degree rotation to observe spy pangling surroundings. The spy pangling. Sit back, relax, and let the robot do the hard work. Okay. Just a reminder. It's got a claw, it's got a, some kind of detachable camera. Does it move around separately? It can only be 80 meters away, so it's really limited there. Four storage slots is not much either. We'll get used to that as I go, I suppose. The still suit. It uses your pee. <laughs> the industry standard still suit is designed to minimize water loss while exploring hostile environments by filtering and recycling bodily fluids. Reclaimed water is stored in containers for later consumption. Normal production rate is two bottles per day. Filters contaminants with no less than four different bodily excretions. I don't want the list at all. Blood and sweat may be effectively processed. Blood? Upgrade to Mark II to make most of tears. <laughs> Onboard flavor neutralizer can be activated at startup. Flavor neutralizer not included in all models. Oh, God. The still suit, because drinking reclaimed urine is better than death by dehydration. Thank God I found better fucking solutions than that. <laughs> Mineral detector. Does not work, I should say. <laughs> Using a complex blend of electromagnetic field transmission and beta decay detection, the mineral detector is capable of identifying nearby resources and approximate distance. Two antennae emit an advanced pattern of waves to detect specific materials for mining. An ultra-bright display visually communicates distance to the target resource. Proximity alarms add an extra layer of information for finite spatial positioning. Yep, they forgot to mention that it doesn't fucking work! <laughs> what a piece of shit. God, just make a scanner room. Just power through. Just bite the bullet. It's beautiful and it loves you. It'll love you back. It's the only technology in the world that will love you back. I really hope the other map looks cooler. This one's really hard to look at. Help me. I have encountered bug. Guy. Well, that was weird. Ah, oh, don't stop right when I stop recording. Oh, you guys only got to see a glimpse of it. I was ice skating around, I couldn't control myself, and I was spinning around the outside of this room, and I didn't know why. I don't know. Like, I ran in here, and jumped. And then, like, I was just like, around the perimeter of the room over and over again. And I have no idea why that was happening. I briefly saw the brine wing outside of the chamber. So maybe I, like, interacted with the brine wing somehow. And then, like was getting pushed around forever, and it was so fucking trippy. It went on for like a good 30 seconds, so then I'm like, okay, I should... I should actually deal with this, so I... I... hit escape, and I opened OBS and set up my microphone, I was like, let's... Okay, alright, let's, let's have a little reaction here. And, but all that happened is I went from like, here... to all the way over there in like a second, and then I guess it stopped. So I guess I fixed it. Ah. Well, it would have been a good clip.